Hi everyone, it's the AFL Yank back here again in time for another AFL tipping video. This is probably the earliest that we've done it in a while. But yeah, got 8 out of 9 tips correct this past round. It would have been a perfect 9 for 9 if Melbourne didn't choke, uh, didn't choke against GWS in the final minutes. But yeah, regardless, uh, we're going to take an overlook. See, so Lions beat Richmond at the Gabba. Absolutely smack them. Just an, a flat-out dominant performance by the Lions. I knew they would dominate the, the Tigers. Underestimated, I underestimated the margin, though. And then the Swans versus Geelong. To be frank, the Swans should have won this game, but they just they made too many constant mistakes. They just, they just couldn't execute it well. And now... Their chances of making the eight are even more hampered now. Because had they won this game, they'd be the, they would be either tenth or ninth right now. But yeah, and then uh, Crows beat North Melbourne as expected. The Doggies beat Frio at at Marvel. Figure that the Dockers wouldn't uh, do well at, wouldn't do well in Victoria. Plus, I mean, they lost Nat Fife in this game, too, and he'll be out for a while. And then Collingwood absolutely smacked the Suns in the Gold Coast. Just a flat-out dominant performance. I honestly thought the Suns would be a bit more competitive, but no. They just they just laid down. They literally laid down and died at home. Port Adelaide with a fantastic finish with Dan Houston getting the game-winning goal. Absolutely incredible. And then uh, Carlton getting a much-needed win, obviously beating Hawthorne. And then, yeah, I think TIO Traeger Park, I think it's in Darwin. But yep, uh, Melbourne versus GWS, the one tip I got wrong. I was super close to getting a perfect 9 for 9. But yeah, GWS with a sneaky win. They're definitely looking like they're going to be in the hunt for the 8 in the coming in the coming rounds. I think they have a very good shot at making the eight this year. They've done they've done really well this year. And finally, St. Kilda in probably the ugliest one against the West Coast Eagles. The Eagles were literally leading by like 30 at one time. It, it was crazy. But yeah. So yeah, eight out of nine tips. Pretty good. I think that's my best round. I think it's my second best round all year. So anyways, uh, let's get to the round 17 tips. And we're going to start out with Richmond versus the Sydney Swans. Of course, uh, the Swans beat the Tigers earlier this year at, uh, in Adelaide. But yeah, Richmond, they're coming off, uh, coming off a massive smacking by the... Uh, coming off, of course, the massive smacking that came against uh, the Brisbane Lions. And the Swans obviously coming off a very, very ugly draw. Just things couldn't really click. But yeah, um, this one's going to be an interesting game. Because, of course, uh, the Swans, they have not won at the MCG since the grand final. Their last win at the MCG, of course, came back in, uh, came in the qualifying rounds uh, against the D's. And yeah, they have not won a game at the MCG since, and it's going to be interesting how this goes, because I honestly think the Swans have a chance of really, I think they have a shot at beating the Tigers in this game. I think it's really possible. I mean, the Swans, they do have, they've proven that they can actually really, you know, do well in the mid, in the mid line, you know, the midfield and stuff. Like, they prove their worth. Especially with with everything, you know, slowly coming back together. Although Chad Warner is going to be out for a good amount of time. But yeah, um, I would not be surprised that the Swans won this game. I'm actually going to go. I'm actually going to go an upset here. I'm going to go Swans to win in a very sneaky game. I think they win by seven points. I think this has the opportunity to be a close game. It really does have that opportunity of it happening. Plus, I mean, the Tigers, they've been in pretty bad form in the past couple of weeks. But I think this will be a very competitive game. I think the Swans get a much-needed win to really keep their top eight hopes alive. And, uh, yeah, 
I'm actually going to... Yeah, I thought I would not tip the Swans again after they ended up losing to... Uh, I thought I would not tip the Swans again after uh, they ended up losing, I believe, a couple weeks ago. I can't believe I forgot who they who they lost to, but... Yeah, they have had a mixed bag this they've they've had a lot of negatives this season just a lot of just a lot of missteps and tons of injuries and stuff but I mean things are slowly coming together although Buddy and Hickey should not even be on the field just Tom Hickey he's past his prime which really sucks but yeah and then uh, Friday night, um, Western Bulldogs versus Collingwood. No surprise, I'm going the Pies to win this game. They should absolutely dominate this game. They should handle the Doggies well. I'm going to say they win by a 27-point margin. And then at the Gabba, the Brisbane Lions versus the Eagles. Yeah, no doubts about it. Going Lions to win this game. I wish this would go further because, <laughs> yeah, the the Eagles do not even have a god. The Eagles don't even have a slight chance in hell of winning this game. I'm gonna go Lions by 134. Yeah, that's right, Lions by 134 points. And I think they score 184 points as well. So, yeah. And then uh, Giant Stadium, GWS versus Hawthorne. But yeah, the Hawks, they have been in pretty bad form as of late. Absolutely got smacked by Carlton. And then GWS, they got a shocking win against the Ds. Just, they're proving their worth right now as being a possible top 8 side this year. They have a chance of making finals in my eyes, but yeah. Nonetheless, gonna go GWS to win this game. They should do it pretty handily. I think a 30-point win is in the hands for GWS, and I think they have a real shot at making the 8. But yeah, they've proved their worth. Just a lot of stardom on their side. Obviously, Tom Green and Obviously, Toby and stuff, just, they've proven their worth. They have an absolutely bright future ahead of them. They they have a very consistent culture. They've assembled it well. It's just, they don't have a fan base, really. Like, it's it reminds me a lot of the LA Chargers. A fantastic club, but they just can't, can't really garner a fan base. Heck, it might work for Canberra, but who knows. And then at Marvel Stadium, St. Kilda versus Melbourne. I'm going the D's to win this game. They should. I'm going to go D's to win this game. Uh, both sides, of course, both St. Kilda and the D's have looked incredibly ugly, but I think out of both sides, I think the D's are the one more are the more capable side of recovering for uh, the Saturday night matchup. So yeah. And now on to the other. And then to the other Saturday night game, Port Adelaide versus Gold Coast. Obviously going Port, no doubts about it. They should get this done pretty well handily. I'm going to say a 64-point margin for Port Adelaide. They should get it done and continue to prove their worth as being a legit grand final bound side. I think they're really bound to make in the grand final this year. Literally, Collingwood and Port are like the two, so are literally like the only two sides bound for the grand final this year. And then uh, GMHBA, Geelong versus North Melbourne, going Cats. Geelong are absolutely unstoppable at the, are unstoppable at home. They should get the job done immediately. I'm gonna say Cats by seventy four points. Then Essendon versus the Crows. Of course, the Bombers coming off a tight loss against Port Adelaide, and the Crows, of course, coming off a massive win against North. 
And in my eyes, I'm actually... I actually think the Crows can actually sneak an upset here. I think it's really possible this could be a very contention. This game has a lot... A lot of a lot of stuff riding on it, and I honestly think the Crows are more capable standing up and <laughs> beating Essendon. So yeah, punch one two punch in the face by both South Australian clubs. That is what I'm calling. And then finally, off the stadium, Frio versus Carlton, going Dockers. Both sides have been incredibly ugly, but. I feel like Frio has the capability of getting the job done, I think. They get it done by 17 points, and they continue to be in the finals on. So, yeah, that is going to do it for the for this round. I hope you enjoy my tips. Uh, it's good doing these early again in time with now me actually, actually sort of having an idea for how I plan out my schedule. So, uh, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. Um... This is the Eiffel Yank, signing out.